After five years of RV travel, we've learned there are some places you just want to flat out avoid when it comes to traveling with or driving in an RV. And in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the most dangerous places for RVers especially, and some important things that you absolutely need to know if you're going to stay safe when traveling in or with your RV this summer. Now, when it comes to RV travel, certain roads and areas are definitely more dangerous than others due to a lot of different factors such as steep grades, sharp turns, weather conditions, and high traffic volumes. Hello, Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to Atlanta. So let's talk about some of the most dangerous places for RV travel based on these conditions and challenges. Plus a little later in the video, I'm gonna tell you about some of the most dangerous places that we've encountered as well. Plus some important things that you need to know about potential hazards regarding certain national parks. Now, first up on the list is the section of Interstate 15 between Las Vegas, Nevada and Los Angeles, California. Now this route is notorious for its congested traffic, especially on weekends and holidays and for the extreme temperatures in the Mojave Desert, which can cause tire blowouts and overheating engines. Now, next on the list, also in the state of California, and that is California State Route 58, also known as the Bakersfield to Hatchapi Highway. Now, this highway has some steep grades, sharp turns, and a lot of varied terrain from urban to remote desert driving conditions, which creates some really interesting challenges like heavy traffic, harsh weather, and they've even in most recent history had some pretty dangerous mudslides. This is in the Sand Canyon area just east of Tehachapi. You can see the flooding there on the road. There is mud, there's a semi stuck. And speaking of dangerous highways, another precarious highway, especially for RVers or towing an RV, is US 550 in Colorado, which is also known as the Million Dollar Highway, which interestingly enough, if you look it up, some people say it's called the Million Dollar Highway because after driving it, people say, I wouldn't do that again, not for a million dollars. Now it's breathtaking, but it's kind of a perilous stretch of road because it has narrow lanes, steep cliffs, lack of guardrails, and in severe weather conditions, especially in winter, it's pretty dangerous. Now because of the high altitude and mountain passes, this just adds to the danger level probably one that you just want to avoid if you are driving an RV and maybe just opt to go by car instead. Now we're going to talk more about national parks in just a few minutes, but first a huge part of making sure that you don't end up on one of these dangerous routes or just in a precarious situation in general is with some advanced planning. And we do want to take just a minute to thank Policy Genius, which is the sponsor of this video. So speaking of planning, one thing that Ben and I did years ago was to make sure that we each have life insurance. This gives us peace of mind knowing that if something were to happen to either one of us, the finances and the resources would be there to cover expenses while we get back on our feet. And when searching for life insurance, a marketplace like Policy Genius can be super helpful in comparing policies and options. Policy Genius offers quick, easy comparisons of life insurance quotes from top US insurers with its award winning licensed agents and technology, ensuring you find the best price. Life insurance through an employer may not fully cover your family's needs and might not transfer if you change jobs. So with Policy Genius, you can find insurance policies that start at just $292 a year for a million dollars worth of coverage. Some options offer same-day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Their award-winning licensed agents prioritize your needs, offering unbiased advice since they don't work for the insurance companies. Policy Genius has thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot from customers who found the best fit for their needs. You can visit policygenius.com forward slash grateful glamper to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you can save the information will be in the description below. And thanks to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. Okay, national parks. If you're like us, hitting up our national parks is probably on your travel list. However, there are some national park highways and routes you definitely want to avoid when driving or towing an RV. And first up on the list is Teton Pass Highway or Highway 22 in Wyoming. Now, this highway is especially treacherous with a 10% grade on both sides and numerous curves. Let me just tell you, 10% grades like 
pretty dang steep. And with these steep grades and avalanches that can occur and frequent moose crossings, this actually might be one to skip if you're driving or towing an RV and just opt for taking the scenic route with your car or truck instead. Another place where it can be dangerous for drivers in general, let alone driving or towing an RV, is actually Smoky Mountain National Park. Now, according to the Park Service data, the Smokies saw roughly 92 deaths over 15 years, most of which were caused by motor vehicle crashes. And with over 380 miles of roads crisscrossing this crowded park, it's easy to see why precautions must be taken if you choose to visit especially if you are driving or towing an RV. Now, another dangerous route, especially for RVers, are routes leading to Yellowstone National Park. Now, several entrances to Yellowstone have routes that are just flat out not suitable for RVs. For example, US Highway 14 Alternate and US Highway 14 are challenging due to steep grades, hairpin turns, blind corners, just making them really dangerous for anything that is an oversized vehicle. Now, another national park that was like scary for us was when we were traveling to Zion National Park in Utah. Now, if you're in an RV, you have to be particularly cautious about navigating the Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel Highway on the Zion Mount Carmel Highway. This tunnel has specific restrictions due to its narrow and curved design. Now, vehicles that are 11 feet, four inches tall or taller or seven feet, 10 inches wide or or wider. Now think about this. Why do you have to include your mirrors in that as well? Now these are considered oversized and so they require a tunnel permit. Oversized vehicles necessitate traffic control for safe passage which is actually facilitated by the rangers and in some cases incurs a $15 fee. Now this permit will allow for two trips through that tunnel within a seven day period and certain vehicles including those over 13 feet one inch tall semi trucks hazmat vehicles or vehicles weighing more than 50,000 pounds over 40 feet long or a combined vehicle trailer length of over 50 feet are just flat out prohibited from using the tunnel anyway. So more detailed information about the tunnel and restrictions can be found at the National Park Service website for the Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel and we'll also put information in the description below. Now the going to the Sun Road in Glacier National Park is beautiful. However, this is another really dangerous road in general because it's very narrow lanes, rocky cliffs close to the road, guardrails pretty much non-existent. It's not an RV friendly route due to the risk of accidents. And in fact, any vehicles over 21 feet long or 10 feet high aren't just even allowed to drive it anyway. Another national park where it's dangerous driving an RV is actually Death Valley. Now, this route requires preparation due to its extreme temperatures, remote location, and very limited services. Now, if you do plan on this, you wanna make sure your vehicle is in great condition, carry sufficient water, fuel, and supplies, and be mindful of the weather conditions. It can be navigated safely with caution and preparation and the challenging environment does pose risks and you need to be aware of that. Now, we actually personally drove that road in this RV and I will tell you, it was one of the scariest experiences of my life. Man, oh man, are these roads and a big rig just a little bit on the scurry side. And if I had to do this again, I wouldn't do it in a big rig. And during that time, we actually saw several people that were towing RVs that were pulled over because their vehicles were overheating. It's just dangerous. Another super rough patch of road is actually I-10 in Louisiana. Now, you can just drop me a comment and let me know if you can like personally attest to this fact. Now, this interstate is often in disrepair due to several factors, including frequent heavy traffic, challenging geography, and exposure to weather conditions. The state's unique landscape, particularly the presence of swamps and bodies of water, complicate road construction and therefore maintenance. And additionally, Louisiana's susceptibility to hurricanes 
hurricanes and flooding can cause to even more road damage and road infrastructure damage, leading to ongoing repair needs. These elements combine to make the maintenance of I-10 in Louisiana a continuous challenge. So just remember this, research, plan your routes carefully. There are often alternative routes that are available that can provide a safer option for reaching your destination without compromising the scenic beauty and adventure that all of us enjoy with the RV life. And by the way, I've got a ton of information on trip planning, and that's right up here.